Hello my Spartan, welcome back to more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we beat the game and it's time to go back to Rogueport and also finish off everything we need to do. Before we move on to... Oh, nice, they actually changed it. Because originally it was just Gumbella and you didn't know if the rest of the party was with him. With her. <laughs> You're a strange one, sir. It must be something special to get you to run around. Oh, if I had a Goomba back here waiting for me to have a dog, it might return too. Whatever we're doing, be careful. Goodbye, sir. We do have some other things we want to do before we go fight super bosses. Long time no see, Mario. I'm totally glad to see you again. This is awesome. Everyone's ready. We heard you were coming, so we've been waiting here for you. So, are you ready to go? Whenever you want to go, we are so there with you. I didn't get to say anything at all. Oh. All right, this is just a read journal. First, let's actually go see Professor Frankly. Oh, before that, uh, accept my challenge. All right, if you beat the game, because I actually looked up afterwards, just people got more clarity. This is what happens. Hello, Mario. This is Mush. Jolene's younger brother, in the first time in the Glitzbit, remember me? Thanks for having me out recently. Still not sure what happened, but I do know that if you and my big sis, sis hadn't seen me well, I get chills just thinking about it. Anyway, I was wondering if you heard about my comeback. I've been pushing all of my limits with the most punishing training regime of my entire career. I'm feeling, feeling and seeing results. It's time for the Prince Mush to make a grand turn to the ring. I want you to witness the fruits of my labour, Mario. I ask for help and she arranged a special exhibition match between the two of us. New champion and precious original champ. If you accept my challenge, I'm waiting for you in the glitz, but prepare for a Prince Mush performance like you've never seen before. I'm actually not sure if you've seen me in battle before, so just believe me when I say I was good. Okay. Uh, actually, one typically do this. Uh, I just realized I also should be doing something else. Ah, I got a free live stream. That's good. These free live streams are actually going to be kind of handy. Like I said, we're not going to fight Prince Mush yet. Partly because we need some preparations, but there's enough of a reason for it. Welcome here, and yeah. Alright. Well, I forgot my Instagram. Oh. Found the pals. I try to shoot more cases than usual. <laughs> Believe that trouble center. Yeah, I did not get back to this. I meant to, but rose these cats, help me make up, and erase the B. That's the last of the troubles of April.
but before that we need to go can I actually go back and I believe there's before we go and head back to the pit because that's where the first super boss and the easier of the two is which isn't really saying much but first let's go to Partially Thanks because there is actually something interesting there if they kept it at the same as the original we roam around we have Lady Bo from Paper Mario 1 and Bootler! Lady Bo, keep you up QE is like song of a nightingale in the evening. Indeed, if you're going to find young girl, make your ancestor proud. It is you, isn't it, Mario? Well, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? I've come here with Bootler, yes, a little vacation to the Boshley Sanctum. I haven't had the mansion in ages. I figured it was time to turn some heads on the road. Great! <laughs> What a, nice surprise, what a nice surprise to see you. Feel free to be overwhelmed by my beauty. I'm not a fan of Bo. I think people over hyper. The only thing she's got over like Vivian is literally out of sight. Which that ain't saying much. But anyways, uh, we need to go find. All right, because it's on the train and uh... yeah, we'll see if we don't need the train. Mind you, I'm going with recommendations of a friend, because I don't know how effective it actually is. I think it might be on the XS Express. should have it. Uh, I'm not going to the tree though. Ah, life streams are here. Withdraw and we want to actually wait. Gear. You may want to sell some of this. Draw two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we need to take more of these out. Uh, take the two jelly ultras. Take the other roll. Not sure. Did it? 
Correct. Correct. Withdraw. We don't need that many ultra mushrooms Correct. since now we aren't probably going to be able to turn them into jelly ultras. First of all, get rid of the Thunder Rage. We still need these shooting stars. The kick mix might be useless now. Draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. Okay, so we just need a few more. I thought we were wasting much more. Of course I'm going to buy more. So this is what people might have been talking about, but... Hey, what's up? I'm Moomer. I know a few things to get through this dungeon. You got special deals going around. You can take you straight to the level 50. The cost a little extra, though. Eh, that's fine. 
Let's ship our spy down and yes I'm gonna show this to an extent. take it off for the Shadow Queen, but hey. Grant, I probably should at least take, a, take off one. To go buy another one once I'm done. That's not good. Plus, well, hard drive drives use has been pretty much done, pretty much used up. So uh, yeah, uh, damage dodge might be useful. Simple fire will will be useful later. Refund might actually be useful, I believe, if it... Oh no, it just refunds the coins, it's not useful. I haven't had to use any for items, which is very good. Oh, dark poop.
Leave an item behind. I'll be kidding me. The one time I didn't want Lucky to activate. Yeah, I don't really have much to talk about. Probably should just. You know what? For you guys, I am going to pretty much. See you guys in the fall, pretty much. So, yeah. And now we're at the bottom. But nothing's here, right? Well. Hello, Wacka. Wacku! I'm Wagon! Sure, you sure travel a long way to see me. It's kind of cramped down here, but it's super quiet. This is a relaxing getaway spot. Who? Let's whack him. Whack who? So that's why you're here. You want to play with me? In that case, let's play. Ba bam! The first super boss? Oh, Waka! We can't flee this fight. Boss fight as well, which is boss theme as well. Let's tattle this creature. That's a wacker, the pretty rare, but you can also find him behind and kill a key. Max, club, max P of 108 and attack of 10 and a defense of 1. If you're expected to run into one of these guys all the way down here, when he's attacked, to drop a wacker bump. Then he uses that bump for a powerful attack of his own. That means we should try and use a few attacks as possible to keep him from dropping those wacker bumps. Seriously, I never expected to fight a wacker. That's so hard to, to thinking. Heavy. A big is really scary, scary when he find when he's mad. I hope you don't find out. Yep, and that's kind of just telling you to try and hit him with just one attack. But he can also heal. Ailments are, ailments are going to be the biggest thing, and big damaging moves are also.
There we go. Okay, Burton. Okay, we. Yes! That means we can get another one. Another supernova, I mean. Oh my god. Yeah, she took down Vivian in my head. That's the terrifying power of a whacker. Okay, that's a new stage element. That was one I was not exactly happy about. Uh... Actually, wait. Maybe we can get our attack to do more damage. Unless it does multiple... Yeah, no, it does multiple. Oh, that's not good. Okay, uh, we're using Bale. <sighs> Thank goodness. And he's hurting himself. Okay, uh, let's swap out partners. Oh no, red black bomb. Okay, red black bomb does so much more damage, which is why it's terrifying. I might be able to take him up now. Uh, swap partners. Swap to Bobbery. More power balance this menace. Ah. We managed to be able to take him down. There we go. There goes Wacker. All those Wacker bumps go away. We didn't even need to use all the items I thought we would have. Waka woo! Guess I lost, but that was fun. Hope to see you again sometime. And we get a gold Waka Bump. Oh, it's actually, uh. It's just in useful items, so it's in the key items, which is. weird. Honestly, didn't think that. Bye. Now we've got a waka. Just in case we run into any enemies. Let us. I don't know if we'll be able to. I might as well try. Since that, that fight went by very quick, but that was the easier of the two super bosses, so... 
That was the one I was sure was going to go by quickly if I ended up getting lucky. Thankfully, Waka did go quickly, and he didn't allow, he didn't, he didn't stay his welcome. It's time to go face the other champ versus champ. But before we do that, we have to prepare ourselves. And despite what you think, even though this episode we have been gathering a bunch of uh, life shrooms, we aren't just <laughs> no. Do not want to do that. We're not actually just going to just completely stop. Uh, though we are going to have to get a lot of these. Okay, now the rest should be life shrooms. Now, let's roll. Before we go hit save, let us do the important thing. rest for the store point bonanza because we may need it now we'll quickly save start off with Gumbella exhibition match Prince Mush Yes. Your expansion match has been registered. Please wait in the locker room. The security guard will score you. <laughs> Mr. Champion, sir. It's time for your match. Please come this way. Time for today's main event, and we're in for a beautiful brawl. Here before your eyes, our newest champ, the Great Gonzalez, will battle the very first champion, Prince Mush. Once all said and done, which of these two beloved fighters will be left standing in the arena? The Scarlet Star Gladiators are here. First to make a triumph to return to the good split, it's the Great Gonzalez! You are many? Gonzalez, he's back! You the man! One entrance. The crowd is going wild for, the, for Gonzalez, for the champion. The standing po pause opposite our new champion is the first ever fighter to bear the title. That's right, folks. Back in action, better than ever. Ready for the royal return to the ring. Give it up for Prince Mosh! Prince Mosh, the first champion. We missed you. Woo! Don't lose to Gonzalez! Two champions face to face at last. The excitement among the crowd has reached a new peak. It's time to ring the ba starting bell and begin a match that will echo through the halls of Gliss Pit of the Gliss Pit for eternity. Get ready to brawl! Okay, Mario, let's give this match everything we got. But less HP. Oh, that don't mean anything. Let's tattle. That's Prince Mush, the original champion of the Quest, but he's finally making his comeback. Max P 60, 96, an attack of 6, and a defense of 6. Highest defense we've seen so far. You never guess what he was kept 
but I was kept away from fines for such a long time. He's still a powerhouse. He's known for being a clean fire, so he'll come straight at you without relying on dirty tricks. He's not known for switching between different styles, just keep an eye on his stance. When he charges up, you know, we'll have to think fast and come up with a method of attack. If you're not sure she will come out on top, rewind super guards. Oh, sorry, he's not a fan of cake. What's the story here? There, hmm? Some gate-based trauma in his past? Whatever. If you can manage to beat this guy, you'll become the true unrivaled champion. Let's start with piercing blow. But he dodges. Prince Mosh is the only boss to actually completely dodge. He switched his style before we even got a chance to do anything. Jeez. Yeah, I might actually rally wink. I forgot to get rid of fire drive! Oh! I'm suboptimal! Oh well. He just. He hasn't attacked. <laughs> the one time he attacks me, nothing happens. Typical. You know what? Let's supernova. There we go. Now, let's try and roll. Roll them dice. Dang it. I did it too soon. Oh well. And we can't do any damage. Yeah, and he's immune to explosions. Oh, come on. This is the one time the lucky, the lucky badges aren't going to be helping. But that's also why we got the FB items, because we need them. Probably because he can just take our FB by hitting us. Don't know if Spring Jump will do anything, but hey, we're gonna see if it does. It's all the trial and error. Uh, we managed to do one damage, but I messed up. So, uh, yeah, it, so it does at least do damage. Yeah. Eh, it's not amazing, but hey. Oh, God. Really? Stop it. Don't care. And he switched faces! Oh, I managed to super guard him! Great! That's perfect! I've actually... That's the... That's my first time doing this! I didn't expect to actually be able to do it! I'm actually going to try and boost up. 
I'm actually going to do a few things before you can end up in the first power lift. Excellent. Oh yeah, that time's also useless. I don't know why I still have that on. Ah, oh, dang it. I don't even have the simplify badges on, which is also the more amazing thing. Appeal. We just want to appeal to the crowd. Oh, really? The one time. Oh, there's also this. Really? Super guard. Oh, God. You know what? I wasn't originally going to do this. Well, let's do it. Let's just supernova him while he's unable to defend himself. Let's end it a flash. Let's end our final battle in a flashy way. Down for the count. That's all he was worth, five star points? Seriously. Give me a level up at least. Hm. I didn't even get the curse back. Oh well. So, so strong. You've got me beat, Mario. Who could have seen this coming? You couldn't plan a more ferocious battle. Wild moves, raw power, flying fists of fury. What beautiful destruction. This was without a doubt, inarguably, definitely, absolutely, completely, an extreme battle of very high caliber. But there can only be one winner, and this time it was the great Gonzalez! Gonzalez, Gonzalez! Yeah. Here's your fight money for 30 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Oh, that's right, I hear much. Oops. Make that Prince Mush has something to give you. I just saw him in the hallway. If you want to catch him now, that's all. Take care, Gonzalez. And maybe we'll, well, we'll see him. Where is he? Nope. Here he is. Mario, thank you so much for that incredible match. We feel quite sure up there, didn't we? I know I gave everything I had. We should both be proud. I have a gift for you. Consider it a thank you for being such a great part. I hope, I hope you'll take it. You got Prince Mush's belt. A belt matching Prince Mush's. And a sign of his friendship. I'm ready and willing for a rematch anytime. And I intend to win it. And yeah, that is pretty much everything. Uh, 
just to show, I don't think I even have any simplified badge. Yeah, I didn't even have any simplifier badges on. I meant to equip them because apparently they make the super guarding easier. <laughs> I'm honestly impressed I managed to super guard it because I don't. Because you guys probably know I suck at super guarding. This is the reason why I've been guarding and not trying to super guard. But yeah. That is pretty much everything this game has to offer. Past this point, the only thing that's left to do is win Happy Lucky Lottery, which uh, is a scam. But also, just get every title, which I'm not going to do. I mean, I try and get every badge, but that's, that's not fun. At least not to me. You know what? We got the coins. Okay, so to leave. I'm gonna buy every book of Luigi. So I think I'll get the coins for all of them. I was gonna originally just spend all my money on badges, but no. We'll end this by reading the book of Luigi. All of the books of Luigi. Oh, sorry. Super Luigi. bestseller if I've been buying them pretty much the whole old days. The fan favorite. <laughs> Zero defeaters! We're going to be so broke by the end of this. I still have to sell the I sell our, sell our items to be able to pay for this as well. Yes, I am selling them. Because, I mean, there's no other thing we can really do with these. Okay, so that's the last one. Okay, so that's actually indeed the last one. Uh, alright. So I believe it is either in... Yeah, it's in... Have you experienced... Have you ever experienced a time, no matter how hard you tried, you failed and time you spent felt wasted? If you ever feel such pangs of regret, try to remember this tale, the story of a young man's quest to save a sweet princess. Super Luigi, Volume 1. The quest begins. The day dawned like any other, but little did Luigi know the letter he was about to receive would change for his destiny forever. So Luigi, danger besets us on all sides, and we beg your help. The foul chestnut king has stolen our beloved princess. The letter was, was from the minister of Crip of the Waffle Kingdom, a man aware of Luigi's many adventures. He knew only Luigi could save them. Charged with his dire task, Luigi wasted no time curtailing the heroic meal he was making when he pent for his daily journey. Knowing that his older, though less talented brother was out on a no doubt inconsequential errand, Luigi took a moment to leave a note. Mix a keel mango with a peachy peach to whip up a fruit, fruit, fruit parfait. That's an actual recipe. These cryptic words were all Luigi wrote before leaving. 
Upon reaching the Waffle Kingdom, Luigi was greeted by pure misery, an endless flow of tears over the kidnapping of Princess Eclair. Arriving at the castle, Luigi was greeted by Minister Crep, who carefully handed him a compass base with only one intact section. A land once had a special treasure of a marvellous compass. Find its seven parts and find it, Claire. So it began. It's a little warm, Luigi muttered, with sweat dripping from his brow as he followed the compass up a rumble bump volcano volcano side. Must find the secret grotto. While Luigi had guts to spare, he did need a guide. He found one in Bluey, a blueberry met in town. Brave Bluey joined Luigi and instantly proved to be invaluable with his aid. Luigi bested the savage statue without protecting the treasure. That treasure was none other than a piece of the marvellous compass, a piece that pointed west to Plump Belly Village. The second Luigi saw Plump Belly, he knew something was amiss. All was woe and Luigi soon learned the reason why from there. The town was at the mercy of a sinister serpent who demanded sacrificial lasses burning with indignation. Luigi formed a team of liberators. A fierce bomber warrior named Jerry joined his crew and chose, chose, not surprisingly, to stick with Luigi for a duration of his quest for for Eclair. Fortified by his allies, Luigi strode on, on into the lair of the beast. A foul two-headed snake. No time to think, Luigi sprang forth, two heads snapping at his heels, fangs dripping with dripping venom, and then as one mouth gaped wide to swallow Luigi, the other crept behind. Our hero sensed the treachery, feigning, and before leaping, fainted, and fainted, fainting, fainted before leaping. The heads collided, and the beast ate itself. The prize? A compass piece. The villagers begged their savior to stay with them, but a grim-faced Luigi pressed bravely onward. Dauntless Luigi's next task came in the form of a card race on Circuit Break Island where he won both a com the contest and a compass piece. The race was fraught with danger, but Luigi Pat pressed through adversity to win. All of the viewers were awed by Luigi's revolutionary racing style. The mechanic who built Luigi's racing machine, a buzzy beetle named Torque, was stunned by Luigi's racing techniques that he joined him. Reinvigorated, Luigi set sail for Jazafraz Town, where he made a stage debut. Hazy, a noted Daisy producer, gave Luigi a key role. Playing the power of an earth spirit to pure perfection, Luigi stole the show. Hazy's faith in Luigi's natural acting talents was rewarded. The performance won a prize which yielded another compass piece. Hazy turned from teacher to pupil, joining Luigi on his quest. It was at this time that Luigi's heart, usually draped in cool comfort of a hero's resort, began to warm with thoughts of Princess Eclair. This came to be because every time the magic compass pointed to a new place, her general words rang in his ear, touching him to his very soul. The voice spoke of eternity, of stars in the heavens. It wept over was blind to love. It gave him gave comfort in the face of fear and loneliness. Though he had never seen her, our hero was tormented by visions of this fair hearted maiden. All he could do was press onward, the compass pointed to her rapturous ruins. Only two parts of the compass awaited, and Claire had won. Foot sore and weary, Luigi found beyond finally found rapturous ruins beyond Grimble Forest. Within the, then, time and space were lost in nothingness. Within the pale emptiness, Luigi found a young sleeping boy. Our hero called it gently, and the youth awoke from his long slumber. My name is Cranberry, and I've waited for you for a thousand years. The boy went on to tell Luigi the secret troops of an ancient island. He said that the marvelous comp compass had been created by the ancient Luff people, who used his powers of foretelling to rule the, warp, rule the world. But the Luff Empire was then cursed by the compass and fell to ruin. This virus dismantled the compass piss, and hid its pieces. Cranberry was the last of the ancient race. His role was to wait with the one with a noble heart came to take the burden of the future. None but Luigi could have shouldered the weight. The boy gave him the compass, gave him the compass piece and said, Fear the curse, but find your Eclair. Luigi said that the part the boys were burned to his brain. His duty fulfilled the boy boy began to fade into the blank nothingness. As he faded from sight, a look of joy lit Cranberry's face as Luigi gaped. Both bo boy and runes vanished, leaving our hero in a dark wood. With six... <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. Pardon me. With six parts united, the compass now pointed to the final part, to the quest's end, to Hate Song Tower, and then her voice spoke. Princess Claire's voice begged for help from the void, pleading our hero Luigi's heart Luigi's heart burst aflame. Long last, Luigi crossed the threshold of Hate Song Tower. Luigi rallies allies. We will defeat the Chestnut King. We must! Friends by his side, Luigi at last faced 
face that fell just not king. And then he heard a voice and spun to see with fair Princess Claire. She told our hero the painful truth. The evil Chestnut King was actually her true love, made monstrous by crept in a bid for the throne. At that moment, the villain's crept appeared. The marvellous compass. Please hand over. The Luff Empire will rule again. Mwah! Luigi and Co. were no match for the might of Crep, their true enemy. But then the compass piece in Claire's tiara shone forth. Bestowed the future sight of Luigi, knowing Crep's every move, he smote the fiend with his mouth. And with that, it was all over. Luigi and his friends parted, leaving the Waffle Kingdom in peace. But Luigi gave regret not gazing further into the future. He longed to see the Wafflers gather, gathering on Princess Claire's wedding day. He wanted to see her beauty and who stood at her side. But it was not to be. Luigi went back to his humble home, and which remained exactly as he left it, cold comfort for his heavy heart. Taking up a book he had been reading, Luigi tried to read, but his long trial had set his strength, and soon he fell asleep. Luigi dreamt of his friends as beloved Princess Eclair. In sleeping, Luigi spoke, I shall return. Not what Luigi says, though. Let's see if... I don't know if Luigi is actually here, or if he's somewhere else. He's still here! Yeah, I'm go I'm not going to actually read all this, but I am going to show it. If you want to read, pause, because every time it finishes up, I will actually, like, the whole text box is filled, I will then press A. Yeah, you might read this here for each of them. No. <laughs> I have to read this one. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. I look so good, I flew out holes and got the his lair. This is just a retelling of uh, the story, uh, the Jam uh, Japanese myth of Orochi, where Orochi asks for sacrifices, Susano ends up dressing up as one and then just slays the eight headed serpent.
I have been talking and I forgot I turned up the commentary button so I get in the talking while I was skipping through some of the text and then I apologize. Oh wait, wrong way. I was gonna say there's only one more thing I wanted to do before I left off and said my true goodbyes to this game. This kid. I gotta say, I've been playing a new Paper Mario game a whole lot. I'm on the fence so far. I've gotta put serious time into a game to review it properly. I have to tell you this if you're a Luigi fan, this game will only encourage you. And that is a. That was the only hint of Super Paper Mario for a while. Now. With that, this is the end. The final episode. Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. I do hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed it. So, I'm hoping you guys did too. There were ups and downs. There were many smiles and frowns. But we better look on to new horizons, to new frontiers. I'll see you guys next time for a new series. See you, my sparks. Xeno and Zuma signing.